Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be discussing about how production possibility curve basically demonstrates number one scarcity and that actually necessitates trade-offs being made by the economy or by the firm. Now, a lot of students might think that this is such an easy topic and we will be easily able to pull this off in the exam, but I have witnessed a lot of uh, students not being able to write properly while answering questions. Now the important thing is that it's not about what you write, it's about how you write that. So even if you know the concept but you're not able to express it well, you it's more likely that you will not be able to get the maximum mark. So just watch this video till the end so you understand how you are going to express the fact that how can PPC demonstrate scarcity and it necessitates trade-offs being made. So I've drawn a normal PPC curve here. Um, it's concave to the origin. You have good X and Y on the X-axis. Now point A basically showing us that since point A is outside the production possibility curve, it's a point that is unachievable or it is unattainable. Now remember that points outside the PPC are un unachievable or unattainable. You can't really unattain. You can't really attain that combination at point A. Because the simple reason is that the production possibility curve is telling us the maximum possible combinations that is, uh, you know, the economy or this firm could actually end up producing. And since this is a point that is outside the production possibility curve, definitely it's outside the maximum uh, possible boundaries or the limits of the of this economy or, or firm. So hence, this is a combination that is unachievable. Now, remember that whenever you're asked in the exam to show how PPC demonstrates scarcity, so this is basically because of scarcity because production possibility curve basically shows all the possible combinations that you can produce with your given resources. Now, since your resources are fixed and they're limited and they are scarce, you can't really exceed the combination beyond the production possibility curve with your given resources. So whatever resources you have, you have to use them and produce Produce along the production possibility curve because it's telling you the maximum and the possible combinations that you can end up producing um, along the production possibility frontier, right? So point A is basically telling us scarcity and because with our fixed or the given resources, we cannot, you know, we can't really achieve this combination. So if the firm wants to, let's say, you know, add, let's say, add good X and good Y, and let's say at point A, the firm wants to achieve sort of if produce 50 units of good X and 70 units of good Y, it's not possible, right? And this is, this is actually, so you have to write that, you know what, this is the combination at A and this is, it, so you don't really need to, you don't really only have to write it, this is unattainable. You have to mention that, you know, this is because of scarcity. Because of scarcity of resources, you know, the possible combination that you can achieve is only on the production possibility boundary and nothing outside the boundary, right? So if the firm wants to produce 50 units of good X, that one thing is certain that you cannot produce 50 X with 70 Y. So if you, but if you want to produce 50 X, then you need to compromise on Y. And if you want to produce, let's say 70 Y, then you need to compromise on X, on good X. For the sake of assumption, let's assume for this video that we want to produce 50 units of good X. And for this reason, we will definitely have to compromise on good Y. We can't really end up producing 70 Y. So the combination that is possible is basically, we have to see that where is this combination intersecting the PPC line and this gives us a combination that it tells us and you know what at you know uh, you know you can't really produce 50 X with 70 Y so the possible combination because PPC is telling us all the possible combinations that are possible with the given resources so with your given resources you can't really achieve a but with your given resources you can achieve B right so at 50 units of good X the only option you have is that you know you you have to sort of maybe end up producing, let's say, um, maybe sort of uh, 45 units of good Y. So with 50 X, with 50 X, you can actually produce 45 Y. Now this is a combination that is possible. It's unattained, sorry. This is a combination that is possible. It's achievable because it's on the PPC. So a lot of students just, you know, wrote, learn, oh, achievable, oh, unachievable, but they don't really know the meaning of what they actually stand for and why is this achievable or why is this unachievable. Now, point A is, remember, it's unachievable, but it is desirable. So yeah, the society desires it. We want to achieve this. It's desirable, but it's unattainable with the given resources, right? So PPC in this case is representing, clearly representing scarcity because point A is, you know, not possible. So the only possible combination that the firm or the economy can have is that it could produce on the PPC at a combination of point B with 45Y. So it can't produce 70Y with 50X. With 50X, the only possible combination or the only possibility 
um, is forty-five. Why with your existing given resources, and that is what scarcity is, right? And let's say, let's say, and if being having said that, if now the economy wants to maybe if further increase the output of let's say good X, then you know it it uh, you know sort of let's say. It wants to increase the output of good X, and it wants to end up producing, let's say, you know, um, 65 units of good X, and it says that you know I'm going to produce 65 units of good X with let's say how many how many Y with let's say 45 Y. So again, this this is now again a point that is outside the production possibility curve. Now point X is saying that the firm wants to produce it desires to produce 65 X with let's say 45 Y, but then again this is desirable. But again, it is unachievable because again, it is now a point that is outside the production possibility curve. So point X is outside PPC, so it's not it's unachievable, it's unattainable. Although yes, it's desirable because it's obviously something that the firm or the economy would want to produce 65x with 45y. So now this trade, so now this scarcity, the point, the fact that you can't really produce good X, and you, at the same time you want to increase the production of good X. Sorry. So, so, so the fact that you can't really produce um, 65x with 45y, and the fact that you also need to increase the production of good x by 15 units at the same time you want to produce the same 45y is not possible with your given resources because that's a combination that is beyond PPC, and the PPC shows us the possible combination. So you have to, you have to clearly, clearly express this to the examiner, guys. So, so now this is actually necessitating a trade-off. That has to be made, and this trade-off is really important. This has to be made. So, in in this case, if you want to increase the production of let's say 15 units of good X, then the trade-off is very important. It's necessary. So, maybe let's say if 15 units of X needs to be more produced, you know, increase the output of 15 units of good X, then the trade-off that is the the fact that good Y has to be foregone is important. So, maybe like you know, you have to forego maybe 10 units of good Y, so you'll end up at maybe 35 35 Y. So. So 10 units of good Y for constantly opportunity cost of producing 15 units of good X is basically the 10 units of good Y and the marginal opportunity cost would be 10 Y for gone for 15 X. So the marginal opportunity cost would be sort of, uh, I mean, 0.67. But then, but then again, you know, the marginal opportunity cost is not ne necessary right now. That's not the purpose that I'm trying to explain to you. What I'm trying to explain to you is, what I'm trying to explain to you is that, you know what, you can't produce a combination of 65 units of um, good X with 45 uh, units of good Y because this is again, um, you know, outside the com production possibility curve. So now that necessitates a trade off being made because of scarcity. So the economy of the firm has to make this right. And this is what necessitates the trade off. So, it's, so just merrily writing or superficially writing, oh, you know what, there's scarcity and there's this point is unattainable and you know, this there's, there's a trade-off that should be made. Now these, it's, again, I'm telling you, it's not about what you write, it's about how well you write it, right? So that's it. That's it, guys, for this video. I'll see you all. I hope you understood the concept. If yes, then please mention in the comments and let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos and you want more of it. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care.